Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Death. We are on to Lantern Year 14. Today it's just myself and Chris because we're going to show you how the game works in a two-player scenario. Yeah. Uh, but it is a nemesis encounter. So as you can see on the board, we are already set up for a fight with... Who is this? Okay, so... Um, yeah, you're right. So it's a nemesis encounter, mm. which means no hunt track. Yep, no hunt. So that speeds up things. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Just a smidge. But... It's the hand. So yep. the hand is, um, he came along during the regal visit encounter, mm. uh, story event, sorry. Yeah. Wiped out resources for us, and um, yeah, now he's come back to fight us. Right, can we get our stuff back? No. Damn that's it. not going to happen. <laughs> so he's got a few traits that we're going to talk about first, so we understand what we're fighting. Yeah. And just so you know what we're fighting. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, we have Ghost Step which is this trait here, uh, and I'll just read it briefly. So Ghost Step has unlimited range, so it essentially means he can move to attack us from anywhere yeah. on the board yeah. and appear on the opposite side of you to attack. Ah, okay, so sneaky tricks in us. And but we don't have blind spots, do we? Uh, no. Good. And we suffer brain damage as he passes through us. Oh, uh, seeing, seeing. It doesn't matter, because we already know that we're kind of immune to brain damage at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, so any survivors the hand ends its movement with while performing ghost step suffer yeah. collision normally. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is impossible eyes. Uh -huh. So this is basically that as we wound the hand, mm -hmm. we place tokens on here. I might have to grab a few ready. And as we hit... Uh, a certain number of tokens, mm -hmm. which in this case is 12. Once it reaches the limit, we flip it over to respect and right. then other things come into play. We'll get to that if we ever get there. <laughs> is um, it that bad? Yes. Okay. The other thing is at the bottom of the AI card, there's another AI card that always goes on the bottom called applause. It right. basically represents if you can survive every attack that comes at you, right. he claps his hand, bravo, you survived against me. So that one's basically bravo, you beat me fair yeah. and square. That one is, bravo, I ran out of attacks. So I've tested all of my ways of fighting against you. Oh, I see. So we either have to kill him... Or survive. Or survive. Okay, I kind of like that, but that is quite the hefty yeah. hit location deck. So the next thing we have uh, are these um, survivor status cards called yeah. Polarized Aura. So essentially they relate to the affinities, the colored affinities on our gear grids. Yeah. So if you have equal amounts of red, green, and blue, you right. have a white aura. Okay. If you've got mainly red, uh -huh. red, mainly green, green, mainly blue, blue. But yeah. if you've got equal amounts, and that's the most of that type. Yeah. So say you've got two red, two blue. Yeah. You count as red and blue. I see. Uh, well, I've got a red, blue. Yeah. Uh, I've got a red. I've got a red, blue, and I've got a red, blue as well. So this okay. is complete affinities as well. Okay, finally, how that relates to this is we have lenses. Uh -huh. So the hand has, I think, like three eyes, or it's kind of lenses on his eyes. Okay. So when we wound him, yeah. these open and flip. Mm -hmm. So it has this open eye symbol here. Yeah. And that relates to particular AI cards and hit location cards. Right. It's so, quite complicated then. Yeah, it's okay. about as complicated as the dung beetle, but we'll <laughs> see. Um, and as you can see on that one, it means you can only hit him with perfect hits. Mm -hmm. uh, that means also perfect hits, and that one also means perfect hits. So it becomes harder to hit when okay. he's got these lenses open. Okay. Well, then it's maybe a good thing that we don't have that affinity, because then we'll never have to worry about the green one. True. Um, well, but I'm, also, I'm sure when we'll they're all open, through. it has other effects as well. I see. Well, we'll, we'll see as we play through. So, uh, Monster's Turn, I assume. Uh, well, hold on, let's see which survivors we've got in place. So we've got... Uh, we have Sonia. Sonia, which one's Sonia? Sonia uh, so is... Sonia is rolling out with the guitars. So I would say this is Sonia here in yeah. full lion armor this time, yeah. which is nice. That's a male survivor, but it's got full guitars, so we yeah. know which one we're dealing with. Uh, we've got uh, Abel here. Yeah. He's rocking a club. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Lilith here. Yeah, with her spear. With the spear. And we've got... Here we have uh, Warren's name, Rambo. Rambo Sapphire. Yeah. And we've got um, Sonia Sapphire as well. Yeah. Ah, right. So, and he's armed with a catgut bow now as well. He's got a catgut bow, but he's also rocking out with a scrap sword. Uh, okay. Then 
uh, Sonia uh, is rolling with the twin guitars, but also has the counterweight of axe. Yes. Just in case we need that, that little bit of extra strength in there. Yes, and um, with multiple attacks like that, and the bonus, I think, deadly bonus luck on wounding. So yep. with the that whole thing about the red lens being yep. open yep. is very useful for that character. Yeah, the, the good thing as well is that counterweight acts with actually unlocked its ability, which means that on a perfect hit, it will not draw a location card, it just does a wound. That is really cool. Okay, yep. well, I think we're ready then to fight. Uh, yes, so actually, because it's a nemesis encounter, do we get the first turn? Ah. <sighs> That's correct. Ah, so nice. Let's see what we. Uh, oh no, we don't see yet what we do. We need to plan what we're going to do. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Let us suggest. Is... Uh, I'm going to activate with Rambo first. He's going to move and cat eye circle it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, he will actually rawhide headband. Uh, rawhide actually... headband. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'll start getting a look at the the AI. Right. So I'll move him up into position. Hide. Just going to put him behind the pillar here to start with. Yeah. And then we'll get a look at what it's going to try and do. So also to note with the terrain on this guy is yeah. um, he's got, he starts on this. Yeah, on the giant stone face. Giant stone face. And we have three stone columns which we can freely locate. Mm -hmm. And we've got, we drew one random terrain card, which is the acanthus. Yeah, which could be, could be handy. Oh, we're going to need it. <laughs> right. So we've got, oh, we've got two of the same. That's fine. Okay. I did shuffle it. And we've got uh, a liver blow. So in both cases, it's doing the same thing. So he literally sucker punches us oh, in the gut. Oh, no. Uh, I thought it was meant to be a Kingsman. So Horrible. it really doesn't matter on any of these. It's speed 2, accuracy 2, damage 5. Uh, yeah. it, damage, damage 5? Yeah. Okay, this, uh, instantly I'm looking at this thinking this could go hard So wrong. all the survivor we have is mostly going to be taken up on dodges. Also, there are breaks on those cards. So sometimes we might meet need to move into position so he yeah. ghost steps next to us so yeah. that someone else can take him out. Yeah, take a swing at him. Right, okay, so you've moved there, you've yeah. done your um, rawhide headband. Yeah, which I think was a, a good start and play. No one's going to get close enough for him this turn. Uh, no, I'm thinking it's just get ourselves all up into hiding position. So Sonia will go to here and hide. Would you like to do the same with your two cards? Uh, let's move Lilith forward and hide. Move one over, because you can still hide there. Yep. Uh, she's going to activate her cat eye circlet. Yeah, so we'll get a look at the, the hit locations. So, okay, we've got uh, shadow fabric gloves, uh -huh. which is super dense. We don't have any frail weaponry, so that's fine. Exotic fur collar, Ooh. which has got fur strike, so we have to hit that. But also note, these things only count if he's got his eye, his lenses open. So ah, actually, so it's not first right. It's not super dense. So these don't matter yet. Yeah. And then we've got trap. Oh, wow. Ah. Okay. So I guess that's going at the bottom. Yeah. And the other two, just as we please. Uh, yeah. This one's kind of good. It's got minus four toughness on it. Ah. And this guy is toughness 14. Yeah, we may need that. Okay. So let's do that. Well, I do kind of need to tot up just what strength Sonia has. A lot. Uh, yeah, so she's got t plus two permanent. Yeah. Plus one for a monster tooth necklace. Two red affinities. Uh, that unlocks another plus one on her. Uh, yeah, it does. So she's currently sitting with a nice plus four before she even swings. Yeah. And remember, and I think you haven't sorted out her armor locations. Can we just... Because she's got a complete oh. white line armor. She so does. Fill in your armor locations. Oh, yes. Apologies. I forgot to do that completely. So, so you've got two armor everybody? On, ev on all locations, but uh, you get plus one for complete. Yeah. So for the head, it's three. three. Arms is three. Body is three. Waist is three. Legs is three. And then... <laughs> the other bonuses, as we said, with a complete white lion armor yeah. is we get so bonuses. One on the head. In strength and accuracy. One on the uh, waist. On attack. With certain weapons. Yeah, so uh, Rambo is not very well armoured. No. He is a support character today. I think he's going to be uh, a bit of a sacrificial pawn. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so I think hmm, not much else to do there. They're going to have to move forward to that. Yeah, okay, so everybody has moved up to hide. And oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Ah, uh, no, we can't eye circle it. Who has the... You did the rawhide headband with the person with the bow. Yeah. They could have got in a sneak shot, but... Uh, can we see over the terrain? We can't see over terrain, yeah. but we can see him on the terrain. Ah. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We'll see what round. he does. Next round. So, so let's see what we get. Here's AI card. 
is, as we said, was liver blow. Yeah. So what's it going to do? So it's speed two. No. Quick question. See these here. Do they only activate when the lens is open? Correct. I see. So the first thing is survival with most green affinities, as you can see, is how he targets. Yeah. None. Okay. Who's the closest threat? Now, it doesn't say line of sight. So yeah. it is these two here. Yeah. So it's going to be the, the two in the middle here. Who's so. got the highest armor? Uh, probably Sarah. Yeah, I think or we have to target Sarah? her. Sonia, sorry, the word's wrong. So, it does perform ghost step. Now, uh, because she actually begins as the master controller, she gets an insanity. Uh, yes, that's good. So, it, then any survivor it passes through. So move the monster until it passes through the target, then stop to turn to face. Oh, that's bad. Any survivors the hand passes through while performing ghost steps suffer one brain damage per collision level. Any survivor the hand ends its move. Oh, that's kind of difficult because... Yeah, this is weird here because he doesn't have space to move into this back space. He would be yeah. off the board. So does he maybe move to there and push us out the way? Any any survivor's hand ends its movement on while performing go up stuff a collision normally. Right. So So he moves on to us. He moves on to us and he does yeah. So we move them there. Yeah, there and there, and I'll get this. Yeah. So he'll and move to collision, there. if he ends your movement on you, is your knock back five. Ah, so they both go back five. <laughs> this is horrible. They split the pins. So one, two, three, four, five, and down. Knock down. They'll go, uh, it moves down through, so it's are. knocked down. One, two, three, four, five. Down and down. And because it landed on both of those with Ghost Step passes through, they both suffer one brain damage. Okay, so that insanity that Sonia just gained is gone. And that was also. Um, and that would knock Rambo down anyhow. And that was with the sword, is. Who's the scrap sword? Uh, that's Rambo. Oh, so it was both of yours? Yes. Okay, fine. Good. Now, of course, he would then attack, but actually, that's weird, weirdly worked out in our favour favor because they've been no knocked back. So he doesn't actually do that attack. So that's one attack out the way. Yeah. However, we are down. Yeah. And he instantly gets another. Yeah, because we can't. We get back up at the end of the next monster round. Yeah. So everyone's down for the count. Yeah. Let's see what happens. And we know the next card is again. The same. And we've really suffered the penalty because there are no threats. Exactly. So what does that do? Yeah. Um, it's on the basic, basic hand. Is it? The, yeah, it's instinct. The penalty. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So it says the hand points at a random survivor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Roll. Okay. So first of all, we have to pick one. So we'll go uh, one, one two, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. Uh, eight. eight. So it's Rambo. Rambo. Right here. <laughs> yep. So what's he going to get? I roll a d10. Basically, on a one, he's dead. Really? Yeah. Okay. No, okay. he's fine. Uh, if you have no survival, you die. Otherwise, lose all your survival. Oh! And suffer broken ribs, severe, bo <laughs> severe injury. So broken ribs, let me just uh, inform you of what broken ribs will do to him. Body, broken rib. He suffers minus one permanent speed. Annoying. Yeah. And he gains a bleed. So let's get our bleed tokens. <laughs> okay, you weren't kidding. No, nah, he's a, this guy is a tough, he tough. Is no joke. Yeah. Okay. End of his turn. That is the end of his turn. Yeah. Our turn, we all get back up. Yeah, so everybody re-stands up. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a tough battle, and what can I say? It's yeah. going to be... Yeah, this... The likelihood all of them are going to survive? Not high. No. If we can get through this, it'll be good. Even yeah. one person getting through will be good. All right. Well, uh, hmm. can I make a suggestion? Can yours go in and attack first? Does he have a blind spot? Of course he has a blind spot. Right. Can I suggest then that we have your one here go one, two, three, four... And that'll leave space for Rambo to come in and hit him. In the sure, that's a good too. plan. So move him in position there. Yeah. There, uh, there. I'm hitting with my skull hammer. Yeah. Speed two, hitting yeah. on sevens or more. Oh, wait up. Well, before we do that. Yeah. Um, oh, we haven't hit with anything. So that, uh -huh. that trap is still yeah. two away. Okay, so I miss with everything. That's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm have... not going to surge. It's no, just no. not worth it. 
Now I'm going to have Rambo activate and go one, two, three, four, five. Thankfully, the perfect amount. He will hit him in the rear arc as well. Okay. With the scrap sword. Good. Okay. So what's two that? Two dice on five. Uh, but you've got minus one speed. Remember. Uh, so it's one dice on five. Yeah. Uh, blind spots so of four. Yep. Yowch. Hits. Uh, hits. And we know it's not a trap. Yep. So what do we get? We hit the exotic fur collar. We okay. know this is minus four toughness. Yeah. So, strength three. Plus one. Four. I think that's it. Oh, no. Okay. So, um, so minus 14, four, four six. Is ten, sixes. Yeah. No. Fail to wound. Uh, is there anything else? No. But that's one hit location. Yeah. Put Throw out the way. Right. Uh, um, might I suggest the same again with Lilith on the front. Yeah, go on. Right, Move her so. in. And she's going to be attacking with the spear so we can hold her back one. Yep, that's a good plan. Uh, okay, what's she got? Speed two, hitting on sixes. Anything else? No. Both hit. Perfect hit. Ten. Oh, no, 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 because we've got the trap of triggered it. Oh, well. <laughs> we had to deal with it sooner earlier. Yeah, okay. So... So we knew we had that, and yep. we know we've got the trap. But actually, maybe this What's is the okay. Because the trap uh -huh. does extra things if the lenses are open. Uh -huh. And we haven't wounded him yet, no. so none of these lenses are open. Right. So as it says, perform basic action targeting all survivors one at a time, starting with the survivor that drew this card. Do they Modify have to be in each basic action. No, because he he, his basic action is Ghost Step. Yeah. A survivor with King's Step has a starting realisation and may spend one survival and gain plus six evasion until this trap is resolved. <laughs> so that King's Step, if we had the person yeah. survive, is incredible against this guy. Yeah. But no. So, so start with her. Move step. through. Put so on the other side. She suffers through. a brain damage. Yeah. Um, insanity goes down by one. Yeah. To two. Yeah. And does basic horrible. action... Which is here. Yep. Um, now, the other thing to note with this is we're not doomed. Yeah. That's there's important. A, and there's a break on the basic action. So, it does, it does basic action, which will be before it does that, before it moves there, uh -huh. it will go, it, before it goes step, we've got a break. Right. She's going to get hit. I'm going to surge. He, well, actually, I would suggest dodge. I know, because he's doing it for each of us anyway. Yeah, ghost and ghost <sighs> up is infinite range. Yeah. So I'm suggesting... Oh, we need that one back so as well. Surge the attack before he surge does Surge and try and get... Th we need to get through that AI deck. Right. Uh, might I suggest a surge with uh, your other person? Uh, yeah. Able as well. So, surge with both. Like I say, this is, this, is, uh, this is a mean, mean fight. Yeah. Right. So make I'm attacking roll. again. Let's yeah. move that out of the way for now. Make your roll. One hit. Yep. Good. So now we have to see where. Yeah. Uh, I need to spend... Oh, also, uh, let's see if her survival's used up. Uh, no. No. Right. So it hits the gilded... Um, Spolder. Spolder. Spolder, okay. Yep. Uh, no blue affinity thing. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. So it's toughness four. Uh-huh. Strength three. Strength three. Strength four. Um, I think you're looking at ten. Tens. Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. Need tens, get tens. Yep. Okay. Lovely. So, it's a critical wound. So that's an AI card gone. Hooray! Wow. Okay, that might be the only AI card we get rid of. Yeah. Um, but what does it say? The attacker damages the monster's ornate armor and gains plus one survival. She's maxed out. Nice. One token on the impossible eyes, which we yeah. will just uh, use these little lantern tokens that come in here. Yeah. So we put that there. And ignore all lens effects and instead flip all the lenses closed. So we don't really open good. the lens with her red or blue. Uh, yeah, because it would flip whenever you do it and then the effect triggers, yeah? Yeah. Or so is there a procedural so thing? It, you, ignore the, you ignore these okay. so they don't flip open and any that are open become closed. closed. Okay. So. Not bad. That was actually really good. Now, who else wants to surge before uh, he does his attack? Well, Rambo can't because he lost all his survival. Uh, however, L Abel can. Abel can. Let's do that. With the, the club. Yep. And it's in the, the rear. Yep. 
Uh, no hits. Damn it. That's oh, fine. Well. Uh, but I need to roll for his uh, survival action. Yes. He's which fine. keeps it. Okay. <sighs> now the King's Step starts taking effect. Yeah. So he basic actions and moves there, and that's then yeah. the brain damage that would be dealt to her. Yeah. Then he attacks her with two speed, hitting yeah. on twos, hitting on threes, hitting on fours, fours due to the rawhide vest and yeah. uh, monster, monster grease. grease. Uh, uh, one hit. hit. Um, Location. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, this is on a trap. We're not doomed. You so can. we can spend survival. Yeah, you're going to dodge? I'm going to dodge. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll to see. Yeah. I lose the... I burn the survival. Yeah. But the attack misses, which is a good thing. Yeah. And then it says, place the hand at the centre of the board. Uh, to there. Really? Yep. Okay, so, so he goes... After he does that, he goes to the centre of the board. He's now, however, going to ghost walk the rest of us. Yeah, so who do we want to ghost walk next? Um... Well, the, the good thing is, I thought he was going to be ghost walking from here, which meant it would have just been ping ponging. Yeah. But from here, I would suggest he ghost walks here, because that knocks her back and down. Because um, he would move straight toward her. Behind her is here. Well, when he you move, when, yeah, when you move through, he doesn't do collision on that target. It's only if he ends movement on a person. Ah. So it will do in the case here. Yes. So he ghost walks there. Yeah. They take lose one brain damage. Yeah, that uh, knocks her down. Now, of course, that, that break we can make take advantage of here before we uh, get it. Yeah. It doesn't knock her down. Um, well, it's taken out her last... It's not a, it's not a black spot, ah, yeah. so it doesn't knock her down. Oh, so that's a change. Um, I don't think, I think it be, is. I don't think it is. Okay. Uh, then he attacks. Yeah. There is a break before he moves away. So She'll if stand. you don't get knocked down or anything by this, you could hopefully take a swing. Yeah. So what's the defense? Uh, Not great. She has nothing extra. It's just flat on his roll. <sighs> Twos. Okay, both, both hit. Where are they? Body and waist. Uh, how much damage? Five damage. But that would knock her down. She's regardless. going to get knocked back and bash for 10 on this. Uh, so you're going to get knocked down anyway. Yeah. So you've got three armour. Uh, which do you want to take on, body or waist? Uh, body comes up more frequently on the dice. Yeah. So take it on the waist. Oh, no, take it on the... Yeah, take, take it, it on, on waist. the waist. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, wrong thing. So that's all the armour on the waist used up. Yeah. And she, she's knocked down and she gets knocked back 10 in that My direction. Word. Okay, uh, so, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 9, 10, 10. Knocked down, nine. and the person who passes through, also knocked down. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> and, of course, at the end of that, he then... Teleports to the middle again. Teleports back there. Yep, so now he has to target one of these. Yeah, he's going to land on them either way. Uh, yeah, but we can aim it so he lands here and they're knocked that way. Or that way. I mean, well, it's shortest route for the monster, so he would land here. Or but ah, but it's behind, so he would actually land here. Well, no, behind is, behind would be behind the uh, yes, relative so, would land on so top. it has to land on them. So if we land like that, yeah, they get fired that way. He's so going to get fired one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five due to collision. Yeah, and he'll go down. Oh yeah, because he's landed on them. Yeah, they get flung back, and he doesn't get the chance to attack. Correct. Hmm. Trixie. So he's attacked that person. Yeah. So the next person to track is him. Yeah. So at the end of the ghost yep. uh, step and that base attack, he ends up here. Yeah. And then he will land here. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, you take brain damage for being passed through. Yeah. Which uh, oh, does he pass through? Injury? Let me just check. Go step has a limited range. Move the monster until it passes through the target. Stop any any survivor's hand passes through suffers one brain damage, including the target. Uh, any survivor's hand ends move on suffers collision normally. So he doesn't. Does he need to? Pass? He would. He would. So it is a roll. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, go on then. Um, okay. So he gets a ten. ten. Oh wow! Well, it's a ten no matter what, and it could. So ah. 
because we've got plus two G two R. Yeah, uh, principle twelve. It actually becomes twelve, and twelve is a result. Oh, really? Yep. You are not down. Well, that isn't any different. Add your current survival to insanity. Goose egg. Oh. And reduce your survival to zero. Goose egg. So no effect. Gain a random disorder. Okay, get the disorders out. <sighs> the deck of wondrous mystery. So let's take the traumatized card from here and yeah. shuffle. And I'm going to say stop. Oh, well, one more. That. There we go. And what do we get? Weak spot. Where? On the hands again. So just write down weak spot on hands. Yeah. You can't wear armor there anymore. That's okay. He's not wearing armor there to begin with. So it's a moot point. And the other thing with the brain damage, uh, with the brain damage, brain trauma, uh, if we just check, I haven't quite finished. Uh, yeah, if you already have three disorders, you die. Oh, so it's okay. Yeah, so we can die from that. You can die, we, we can die from that one. Okay, good. Okay, uh, monster's turn is over. No, it's not yet. Oh, no, that was the trap. That was, that was just the ghost step. He's yet to attack with you on this. Uh, but was that not the trap? N well, no. He's done the ghost step. He now needs to do the attack. This is still part of the trap. Oh, sh okay. Yeah, we're still going. Okay. Um, so, what's uh, his defense? Him uh, is two. Two. So fours. Fours. Come on, then. One miss. One hit. One hit. Oh, he's got no survival. Oh, yeah. But right. he's, he's on his ass anyway. Five damage to the body. Body. Which yep. will go all the way through. Yeah, punches right the way And through. then we roll d10 to see what happens to him there. On his body. Yeah. yeah, I think this might be him. A seven? Okay. You can survive that. Body is ruptured spleen. Yeah. Skip next hunt event, gain two bleed. All right, so skip next hunt. So we might well need to use... Um, is there anyone... Oh, we didn't take bandages this time. No. Oh, not. dear. I think we just have to accept this group is probably going to die. And that was all a trap. Who was triggered by... Who was that triggered by? Lilith on a surge. Oh, yeah. Which leaves Sonia on her ass. You could encourage her to get her up and she could go take a swing at him with those guitars. Oh, let's do that. All right, so see if you burn the, the survival. Well, I, uh, for Lilith. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. The only so one she, can, she can encourage. Let's see. No, we keep it. it. Excellent. So encourages. Sonia stands up. Right. How do you want to do roar. this? One, two, three, four. And attack with the Katars. Yeah. Okay. So your Katars are paired, which yep. basically means you take the speed of both of them. Yes. As your dice. Yes. So that's speed. Two and two. But then you also get, well, let's just check your um, white line. Uh, Gain plus one speed. So that's speed five. Speed five. Lovely. All right. Let's roll that. Okay, what do you need to hit? <laughs> uh, good question. On the guitars, it's a seven. Uh, okay, so that's... So what we got? Three hits. Uh, one perfect hit, two. Is there? Uh, that was a ten that you left it. This? No, yeah, it was that... a four. Are you sure? Uh, well, let's, re-roll. Let's re-roll it, because it was a bit cocked. No, it's definitely three hits, then. Okay. Okay. It's still three hits. Three hits. Where do we hit? We hit Gilded Face Visor. visor. Yep. Exotic rib plate and exotic fur collar. Now that's a good one. Fur collar is definitely a good one. Um, yeah, let's go with that. So strength-wise is First. two, four, five plus three is strength eight. Do you include the strength bonus due to that? Wow. Okay. And it's strength eight. Toughness ten. Two's to wound. Uh, yeah. I'll get a token just ready in case we wound him. Yeah. Ooh, I, I saw, saw that, that one hovering. Okay, so that's another AI card. Oh, gone. Yeah. And that's done. Yeah. Now, of course, we've wounded him. You've got a red affinity, so that yep. red lens is now open. open, but it doesn't influence the rest of this yet. Yeah. So let's put that out the so way. For the next one, it's so the next 14 one, minus eight, so it's six. It's super dense, but it only gains Not plus. Not super dense, oh, yeah. unless that's open. So it only gains plus four toughness while it's got green lens open. So that's okay. Okay. 
So what did you say? Your strength eight. Yep. He's fourteen to six. Go on then. <laughs> oh, whoa! Hello. Okay. Uh, critical wound. Uh, a chunk of the rib plate comes free. Gain plus one iron strange resource. Yes. Okay. So let we me just need to build go blacks, man. root around for that. So that's another AI card gone. Yeah. Another token gets put on the pile. Yeah. And a strange resource uh, is where? Um, that's the green ones. Is that? Oh no! Sorry, that I'm picking up the wrong resources here. Ah, there we go. That was <laughs> that was the beetle resources. Ah. Okay. So well, what have we got? Get some iron. We get some iron. Nothing special about it. It's just iron. But I don't mind. We want to make steel weaponry. Yes. So I'll keep the them there, just in case. All right, uh, one more. Finally, gilded face. Wait, does the uh, visor. the green one open now? No, because you don't have any green affinities. Nice. Uh, okay, there is. If the hand has this, 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 flip all lenses close. Otherwise, cancel this hit and perform basic action targeting the attacker. Ouch! So, so you don't even get this. Oh, I don't even get to attack. Um, unless you can critical. So I have to critical. Okay. A one. No. As far from a crit as you can get. Yeah. Okay. So. So he performs his basic action on me. Yeah. Flip all lenses. Oh no, that's only if he's got all those things. Okay. So it doesn't matter. So he fell to wound. This won't happen because that's if if he has all those. Ah, open. yeah. I see. Let's just make sure I'm reading that right. We don't want to screw ourselves away. over. Well, we we are going through this deck pretty quickly. Can we we can might get, get the applause. Okay. So that's done. You've attacked. His action. Are you going to search? Yeah, why not? Live life dangerously. So that'll take me to three. Yeah. Okay. Ah, but there is a problem with this, remember? Because it's a red lens open, yeah. if you've got a red aura, which they do, do, you only hit on perfect hits. Any perfect hits I get are an automatic wound. Because of the counterweight attack. Oh, you're using the counterweight attack. Oh, well, there'll be less. Ah, uh, no, more dice, more dice for more chances. More dice for hits. more chances. Is yeah. there anything else deadly? No, we're okay. You got a perfect hit. hit. Good. Okay, so we've got one hit. At least one. Yeah. One is all we need. A couple of nines in there as well. That would have been nice. <laughs> what do we get? Soft chuckle. Soft okay, chuckle. I I need to read this fully. Okay. The noise fills the survivors with an unprecedented dread. All non-death survivors lose one survival and roll a roll d10. Okay, uh, lose a survival. Two. Uh, Lilith is down to three. Abel is down to four. This is horror bubble. Yeah. Okay. So let's start so over for there. Sonia, who did the attack. Uh, uh, it's not going to happen. A one. A one. Add you add the survivors' uh, courage. If it's a fifteen or more, they're not down by fear. Otherwise. They get a minus one accuracy token. God be damned. This is, yeah, brutal, isn't it? Uh, she has no courage. Let me find, okay, we're going to need a couple of these more than likely. Yeah. Okay, minus one accuracy token. Yeah, I'll pop that on there. And? Right, uh, for Rambo, then. Wait, I haven't finished yet, Oh, God, mate. there's more? Um, <laughs> they then suffer five brain damage. <laughs> okay, so is that five rolls on the brain damage chart, then? or just No, it's like five brain damage. So yeah, it goes no all armor, the way so through. It's going through. So it's just rolling brain damage, right. brain trauma table. Uh, Adding four, two to the result, six. which is six. You suffer one damage to yourself and every adjacent survivor. Uh, gain a disorder and gain one d five insanity. All right. Well, my damage is going on your head. head mm -hmm. which okay, is fine. fine. You got three armor, and you gain no adjacent survivors. Yeah, that's good. And I gain a disorder, which is apathetic. <laughs> right. Um, you cannot gain survival, you cannot gain courage. Oh <laughs> no, okay. Okay. This, like I said, this is brutal. And gains 1d5 um, insanity. Okay. So d5 insanity, I gain uh, two. two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can live with having a little insanity. So that's the first person done. Yeah. Uh, soft chuckle, I. Where the heck did I put that down? There, it uh, is. there we go. Okay. For each. So. Oh, uh, they're not going to get more than 15. Let me do Rambo. No one... Okay, do Rambo. We... He rolls. A nine. Gets a nine. He has got enough courage. No courage. So he suffers five brain damage again. Yep, roll on the brain damage chart. Yep. Because he has no insanity. Yep. For that, he gets a two, becomes a four. 
uh, flee. Oh, also, that's the other thing I forgot. Hold on, let me just go back to this. Also, the survivor does a full move away from the monster. So yeah, so uh, that's here. So full move away. One, so two, board three, edge. four, five. Right. And it would normally be six movement because she's got full armor with the. Yeah. But you don't slide. You just stop okay. at that point. Okay. So Rambo, which which one? Him? Uh, no, Rambo is him. Oh, right, okay, fine. With the with the shield. So um, you get flee. If you are knocked down and suffer knockback equal to your movement towards the closest board edge, gain one d five insanity. Um, that's maybe not too bad because I think two, this three, is the closest four, edge. Five. Yeah. So he ends up here, and he gains one d five insanity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Five. So is it just three. Three. Ah, and then we Good do. Man. Who else do we do? Uh, everybody. So Lilith has to roll. Let's do Lilith then. She oh, get no enough. Rolling so she's straight on up. the brain chart. Yeah. For an eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Oh, whoa. That okay. Might be good. So first of all, it does five brain damage as we. So that goes all the way through. Yeah. And I'll tick that box. Frenzy gain one d five insanity. Or so one. One. Yeah. Okay. Gain one speed token. Okay. Plus one speed one token? One strength token. So, so plus. speed and strength pluses. Okay. You may not spend survival. <laughs> uh, ignore slow on melee weapons. And you may not use fighting arts. You may not use specializations. Blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. You can gain this multiple times. So now, you know, she's got extra strength. So yeah. it's not bad. Yeah. Not great. Great. Evil. Uh, but we haven't finished, remember, because it gets oh, a yeah. minus one accuracy token. Yeah. So we grabbed those out. So yeah, one there, one uh, well, there, that's... and yep. flees in yeah. which direction? So it's with a spear. Mm. So away. Yeah. So, so it'll be one, two, three, three four, five. Four. Yeah. This is crazy biscuits. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Abel. Yeah, who's on the floor. Okay. So, so, just so roll gonna... for his brain damage. Three. Three. Becomes a five. Dangerous seizures, we already know what this is. Takes damage to his body. Yeah. Uh, so that's one off there. Okay. Uh, on the body, um, there's nothing else. Gains a random disorder. Yeah. Oh, and I think uh, Sonia is knocked down. Uh, yes, will be knocked down. You know what? Uh, is Lilith knocked down too? Uh, no. Good, because otherwise we're going to take the penalty again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we've got random disorder is monster panic oh, on earth um, whenever you suffer brain damage from an intimidate action suffer one additional um, brain damage monster right. panic so that's kind of mm, yeah. you know it's okay okay that's done yeah and he flees uh, but he can't because he's knocked down yeah so well then would uh, Rumble have fl fled because he was knocked down uh, no that was because he um, oh he suffered knockback back yeah yeah. Okay. Um, Monsters activation. And then what else does it say? Flip all lenses closed. Hooray! And that's the end of the monster activation. Yeah. I will say this deck is quite short now. Yeah. Insane, right? Madness. This is unlike any other monster, and I yeah. hate to think of higher levels. Okay, what are we doing? There are multiple levels of him. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Um, I, I don't even, I've never faced a level 3 I don't want to think about uh, it yeah that's a nightmare for right me. who have we got we've got Lilith she can't spend survival mad what do we do everyone's not down yeah it's just her I think all she can really do is move into position and move hide to position a bit. that's outside of his movement range because she mm, is the only threat outside of movement range is a bit tricksy but if you go behind pillar pillar outside but then I what she got? She's got. She can activate something. Yeah. Rawhide headband. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Good shot. Take your best shot. Okay. And thunderbolt right hand, which right. does seven damage. How about no? Uh, pick the five with the most red affinities. Uh, that would be. I don't want that. Uh, next. Sonia. No, that would that would KO her like big style. Yeah. So we're gonna take take your best shot. Okay. okay. So now it's the monster turn. Yeah. We've just drawn. We've done. We've done our turn. Yeah, because you just moved into position and did that, and yeah. now it's him. And of right. course, we know what's coming, which yeah. is that. Yeah. So what does it do? Okay. 
so it has a keyword called duration. Right. So when this when this is drawn face down, the monster turns to face away from the most possible survivors. So right. he's being a bit of a yeah. He's being a bit that way. arrogant. Then it moves one space forward and crosses its arms. Is that all? Yeah, right. There's a break point. And then it says, while this is in play, the monster gains minus 10 evasion. <laughs> Interesting. If and a trap card is revealed for whatever reason, place the monster behind the revealer. The revealer suffers the following, which is a whole list of evil, depending on what lenses are open. Right, but as of right now, he's just standing there, humming to himself into the darkness. So what it says is it's drawn face down, and it says duration. So I'm just going to give you what the full word of duration is a keyword. Yeah. So duration, in this case, means... Duration cards are drawn twice. The first time it's drawn, you read through it. The second time, uh, and then you put, sorry, then you place it face up on the AI deck. So it right. goes back up uh, like that. And it stays there. And it stays there until it draws it next and other things on their trigger. So it says, instead of discarding it, place the duration card on top of the AI deck. The next time the monster draws an AI card, it draws the duration card for a second turn. Perform any when face down, uh, sorry, face any face up, up okay. card, then it is discarded. Right. Yeah, and it is just when this card is drawn face up, it's just draw a new AI. Yeah. That's okay. So we stand all up. So essentially, it's a bit of a reminder because it puts into, into effect the fact that it's got minus 10 evasion. Yeah. Now, someone could mostly hit it for six if it, they can get close enough. Um, oh, no, well, but they can't. Can they use. Sonia can. Can she use... She's got plus one move. She's apathetic. Can she use... She can use survival. She, she just can't it. gain it, right? Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, you cannot... Oh, no, you cannot use or gain survival. That's still okay, because she can charge in for her five dice attack into its rear. Can you charge one, two, three, four, five... Six? Oh, wow! Plus one move. Oh, go for it, man. This will yeah. be great. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Time to roll the five dice. Yeah. Uh, anything but ones. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, there's a good chance of drawing a trap card on this. So actually, before she activates, let me move her back. Before they activate, you want to Let's have someone count eye circlet. circlet. So who yeah. have we got that can do all this? Hmm. Um, Rambo's got a cat eye circlet. Lilith, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to move, Lilith isn't going to be in range to attack. Yep. So let's move Lilith, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five to there. Yep. And, and she can cat eye circle it. Yep, and we'll have a look at the hit locations. First three, which is not ideal. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So we can work uh, with it. That's okay. Yeah. And that's really good because it does forever minus four toughness if you get there. Yeah. So we'll do that, that one. and then we'll do that because it has a critical and we'll do that one last. Okay. All right. Let's see if she hits. So charges up her six. Pew. Swings with the cartars in Roaring the like a murderous lion. Um, uh, minus, so you've hit with all of them. Yep. Oh, well, that means then we there still could well be a trap here. Yeah. So, so might. one... We know that one. Two, Two three, three, four. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> We're okay. Oh. <laughs> right. We're yeah. okay. Um, right. Now for we... stupid levels of strength. Now let's just see. Um, that's first strike there if it's red. That's impervious. Uh, that's reflex. Okay, let's do the one we were going to do first anyway. Yeah, so strength eight. Uh, yes, strength 8, toughness uh, 14. Anything else in play? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Strength 8. Ah, minus 1 accuracy, but that it shouldn't matter. matter. Um, strength 8. You're certain it's strength 8? Yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seven eight, 8, and 2 red affinities. It's actually strength 9. Oh, okay. Fine, okay. Uh, strength 9, toughness 14, uh, fives. Okay. Yes! Uh, wound. So that means the red lens opens Yeah. with that wound. It doesn't affect the rest of these attacks. It's only for the to hit. Yeah. And you wound, 
Um, any reactions? Cancel all reactions until the end of the turn. Nice. Hey, and he's at mine. Yeah. Nice. And he's at minus four toughness. Nice. So, and another AI one. card gone, which is this one. Yeah. So that That's fine. goes like there. Yeah. And another token on his tracker. Yeah. Um, and now I think I'm looking at anything but ones to wound. Uh, minus four. <laughs> yeah, anything but ones. Yeah. So for the next. Uh, okay, let's 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 be um, let's be. Canny. Canny with oh we, we 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 ignore all all reactions. Oh wow. Okay. Well, let's do the critical first. All right. So just have actually a two. It's, it's a wound. It's a wound. Another Hooray, card. Who knew? Down. Another AI card gone. Yeah. Another token. Here on yeah. impossible eyes. We're now there. up to one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, and gilded spawn. Yep, gone. Nine. Nine. Actually, lucky. Critical. Cr no critical effect though. So. Damn. Shame. And another token. And the next hit. Uh, For a win. Another wound. No reactions. <laughs> still. Oh my word. This is stupid. Uh, another AI card gone. How many's left? Oh wow! Okay, right. <laughs> Go on. There's two left. Oh, oh. I'll give it back. It was. It's a wound. Right. Um. Oh yeah. No reaction. No reaction. AI card goes. Yeah. <laughs> I is... wish I could surge. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could surge. Oh no. Ah, oh, gutting. Right, okay, let's let's think this out. He's now back to normal evasion because that card is gone. Yeah. But he's still at minus four toughness. I have a plan. Rambo's gonna shoot him with the cat gut bow. Ooh. Okay, but it's cumbersome. He hasn't moved. But he needs line of sight. He's here. Is that him? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's in range. I oh, know. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's out of range. Ah, but hang on. Double check its range. Its range is six. Is its range six? Where does it say its range? Range six. Damn it! Can he use survival? He's got no survival. None. Oh, no. Um, I think this may be turn. <laughs> oh, but he's going to draw that anyway. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Right. Draw it. Show it. Okay, <laughs> so we reach the last card in the deck, which is applause. Good. Okay, so hang on. He's been all cocky and shit, turned his back on us. <laughs> Sonia's rocked up and just went, no, no, no. Yeah. She and he just went, ah. Kind of that, you know, it was almost like a, a, thousand, a thousand punch hit kind of deal. Very Dragon Ball Z kind of yeah. level. Nuts. Okay. Now we have to roll. <sighs> right. This is the danger zone. The survivors fall to their knees in agony, their bones suddenly twisting and changing. For yeah. each survivor, cure all broken injuries. Now, someone did get a broken uh, injury. Broken ribs. So those go. Then roll a d10. All right, let's start with Sonia. For a five. five. Good or bad? Good. Plus one strength. Lovely, she's strength three. That's nuts. Wow, okay. Yeah. I can't believe we did this without like shields and stuff. <laughs> right. Um, Rambo. <laughs> yeah, go on. Ten. Ten. What the? <laughs> Permanent. <laughs> Plus one. Permanent strength. Accuracy. Evasion. Okay, so hang on. It's He's at plus one accuracy. One accuracy, two strength. He's now on two strength, yeah. And one evasion. One, yep. And random fighting art. Beauty. <laughs> this is... <laughs> but... <laughs> we, did, we did this all without... Oh, wow. That's... Honestly, that, that was some pure luck on our part. It we really was. Nasty chains. Thankfully, we have the, the innovation or the... The conviction where we don't take the brain damage so severely. That's been a real saviour. That this. really has. It's very useful for I wouldn't campaign. say it's the optimal build with the principles that we've taken, because you could easily go with survival of the fittest, to uh, re-roll things. I don't know, I kind of like just having a set plus two. 
if anything, we're just a very bun- very weird bunch of uh, nutty. Um, oh, <laughs> time plus I. Brilliant. So, like, so <clears throat> perfect hit. your attack rolls is a perfect hit on a nine and ten. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Uh, I'll write this up afterwards. Uh, Lilith. Well, there we go. Roll it. A two. two. Uh, uh, spend one survival or die from shock. Yep. You have survival. Yeah. Thank God. No bonuses? Uh, n- uh, let me just check her. No. Uh, let me just check traumatized. I don't think that does anything to her. No, that's not down. No, it's that's fine. I'm down to two survival. Okay, and lastly is Abel. She doesn't have anything that she could have healed. Okay, Abel. Yeah. Um, Abel. For a ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the dice gods. They give it, they take it. Plus one accuracy. They have a wicked sense of humour. Plus one strength, so he's on strength two. Yeah. Plus one evasion. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. And Random then fighting fight art. Oh, I should have put clutch. Oh, that's right. Nah. It happens, don't worry. The thing is, you, you can't write this. You can't just, like, you can't just make it up as you go along this type of thing. No. This is just... No, th- this is the whimsies of the dice guy. Yeah, we... we he take us... Everyone and your resources, resources, and then we come along and beat him up. Um, berserk. <laughs> um, What's it do? Uh, that means uh, once per showdown, you can spend an activation. Uh-huh. You suffer bash, so you get knocked down. Yeah. And then the frenzy brain trauma event triggers, right. so you get plus one strength, right? Plus one accuracy, right? And uh, you get extra insanity, D five insanity. Really? So it's useful. And you can take frenzy multiple times; it can affect you. So, right, hang on, mate. Everybody's alive. Yeah. <laughs> What's that about? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> After we got done Howard. by the dung beetle. Right. Last things we've got is rewards. Uh, oh, right. So we do get some rewards for having survived. Yeah. Now, do we get less for it being the applause or what? No. So the thing is, if you get through all of his, um, if you do all the things here, you wound yeah. him enough. He instead does something much worse. Oh. It kind of like erupts like fire and steam and incinerates. Okay, so it's good that we did let him applaud us. Yeah, we, so. we really did well on this. So um, that's the Kingsman. We don't want that. We want the hand. Yeah. Victory plus one XP for everyone. Yeah, fair that's enough. That's obvious. No good. age milestones here. None here. Plus one proficiency or plus one level per monster level in fist and tooth proficiency levels. That's pretty amazing if we had that, but we don't. So weapon proficiency. Um, plus one. Plus one on spear. So as uh, you can see, if you're fighting the, the hand. No, is you have to have used your weapon type or is it just in general you're being gifted this? You're being gifted it. Okay. Because uh, club user... And a club user. Abel doesn't have a, have, um, a weapon no, proficiency he'll get one. yet. And yeah. then rewards. Oh, God. Yeah. Can't forget rewards. So, do uh, you want to roll a D10, man? A D10. Okay. <sighs> uh, for a seven. A seven is okay. The hand is a sore loser and bunts a broken lantern in our direction. So he's like, go on then, have that. What, what would we have got if we got the ten? If we got a ten, he would have given us some leather. Okay. Um, and a skull and okay. five basic resources but he would have also killed someone to get those resources Oh, so overall broken lantern I'll take it we'll take it and add one scrap to the settlement storage so we'll do that in a moment yeah. but that is it we've decked the hand and we survived we what? didn't win but I'm, I'm calling it, it a moral a victory win. it is a win I'm calling it moral victory so uh um, yeah. Da- back to the settlement. Yeah. Okay, everybody, we are back at the settlement. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, wow. So we've got four survivors. Yeah. That makes so a change. They return. We've built the settlement. Settlement. We get our four endeavors. Yeah, we get endeavors for Nemesis and Kendra. Yep. Uh, we've got yes. no timeline events. Nope. Uh, no death no counts. Nice. Uh, check milestone event. Uh, nothing on there. And then we're on to develop. Okay, so the reason we've not put the innovation deck out is because we just don't have anything to develop. We have we, no organs, yeah. nothing really worth wasting at this moment. Yeah. I am happy we got that iron, though. That's going to be nice to already have. We've got have some iron. Hand. Yep. We've got some scrap. Yep. 
So we've added that in there. Uh, I will update the uh, sheet with the iron so we can yep. put that back in the box because yep. we're not going to spend the iron yet. No, no, definitely not. We need that. Yes. Big so um, now we have babies. There's nothing else to spend, but we have to do settlement event. Oh, yeah. So do you want to draw it and see what we get? Yeah. What's this? Elder Council. Okay. Ooh, that's something new. Uh, what so what have we got here? The elders of the settlement gather to reminisce over their hard-won scars. Okay. Count the total number of hunt XP amongst all survivors and add bonuses uh, and consult the table. So there's bonuses if you've got certain innovations. Mm. I don't right. think we have What's any of those. What's our total hunt XP of all survivors? So whoever's One, not two. dead. So let's find out other survivors. Three. Three. Four. Five, six. Uh, Sam gives us ten. Rebecca gives us a further two, that's 12. Adam gives us a further four, that's 16. And Jezebel, who's our blue savior, gives us a further, oh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So where am I up to? I said 12, did I? 12, and then you added four for 16. 16, okay, so we're on 24. 24, and what are we doing? So if we spend a endeavor, well, do we roll first? Uh, no, because this is the total age. There's nothing to roll on on this. It's the total oh. age we've got. We would roll things if we had innovations oh, I see. that relate to this, but we don't have any of that. So, so what happens? We spend an endeavor. One of the elders recalls a story about a bizarre lion it met on a dangerous hunt. The hmm. monster was mourning and its paw held a tattooed human hand. Add the beast of sorrow to your quarry list. We'll find the rules for this legendary monster in the book. So, I'm just going to go quickly, because I think we should spend it, because it unlocks a new yeah, hunt. Sure. And what else are we going to use the endeavours for? We're going to yeah. hopefully make some new survivors, but... Yeah, although... We this give is... everybody understanding. Um, yeah, but let's just go to the legendary monsters. I hear legendary monster, I get nervous. So... The Beast of Sorrow essentially counts as a level 4 lion. Oh. But, okay, let's go through the thing. It has, it'll have 10 uh, yeah, basic yeah. cards, yeah. Five, ad, 5 normal advanced cards, and if I just quickly flick yeah. to the showdown with a lion, that's no different to a level 2 lion that we've been hunting. Oh, okay. It's got Toughness 13, Toughness 10. We've already faced stuff with Toughness 14 and done yeah, okay. okay. Plus 1 speed, uh, plus 1 damage. Yeah, that's no different to uh, a normal level 2 lion. Yeah. It's got cunning, uh -huh. okay. But then we take cards from other monsters to build this guy. So it has the weak spot card. Uh -huh. It has trample, which we take from the uh, antelope. Uh -huh. And it also has the indomitable card, which is a new card, which basically means you can't knock it down and things okay. like that. And if you, um, if you beat him... Uh, you get plus one strange iron resource plus all the other level three resources yeah. and you nominate a sur survivor that dealt the killing blow and they get a random fighting art. So, compared to a level three lion, mm. it's not hugely bad. It's not that powerful. Well, it's tell you kind what. of risky fun. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, let's uh, unlock that and we'll hunt that in our next one. Yeah, this is no normal lion now. Again, people are going, why right. are you fighting a lion? It's like this ain't no normal lion anymore. Well, this this would be us showing off how to fight a legendary creature, which could be cool. I'm now just trying to think w which deck weak spot is, so I'm going to have to go root through the uh, cards <laughs> for that um, that AI card. Sorry, we have time. We need the Shanghai Sam for the next one anyway. Yeah, okay. But yeah, let's unlock that. So write it down That's on the... Beast of Sorrow yeah. in our quarries, which yeah. is... It's on the front side there. Yeah. So also, we need to remember we've got Dung Beetle. Yeah. Uh, and Beast of Sorrow. Yep. And the the one we just fought, the Nemesis. Yep. We have to mark it? off the level that we fought. Yeah. Because sometimes, sometimes you might get the option to to choose the Nemesis. So if I if I put this under here. Yeah. Um. Sometimes you might get uh, uh something that says a Nemesis encounter. Yeah. But it doesn't say which level Nemesis you need Got to it. fight. So you pick the Nemesis you want to fight. But it's the next level up. Yeah. Yeah. It always gets harder. Yeah. Nothing gets easier. Okay, so let's try and have some kids then. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know who you're talking to about having kids, mate. Um, right, let's, let's choose some oh, parents. Right. Uh, um, who have we got that we haven't used? 
let's use uh, Rebecca seems to be one of our good parents and use Sam again. Yeah, Rebecca uh, and Sam. Who well, are... actually, let's pick a different father so that they have a different weapon proficiency. Oh, that's a good that's a good call. Um, let's Adam go with... Maybe. Or could we use Lilith? Because she's got spears. Uh, Lilith and Sam? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, Adam has a weapon proficiency of axes. I would suggest Adam and Lilith. Then. Okay. So again, we got match who's the a matchmaker. Oh, uh, we do have a matchmaker. Someone is a matchmaker. I'm 100% sure of matchmaker, that. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Where are you? Make me a match. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Adam. He is the matchmaker. Yeah. He goes, you! Um, so, two and take yeah. the highest. Oh, Lantern yeah. 10! Nice. Okay, now that could be a little bit of a problem in some respects because in the Intimacy event, we already have a, a, a saviour in our yeah. settlement. So, Intimacy 10. Uh, birth of the saviour. If the settlement innovated hovel and they do not already have a saviour, we do special charge. We don't. So actually that means we just get twins. Twins? Uh, two more. So, healthy twins. Um, Alright. We will name them... Uh, we've got family, so that means they get surnames. Yeah. Uh, from Adam and Lilith. Uh, yeah, Adam, Adam, Adam I'm going to call last name Stone. Stone. And Lilith will call. Heartfire. A what? Heartfire. Oh, that's a bit fluffy. I want to keep it short. Stone, we'll call water. Let's All keep right. it elemental. All and right. So that means we create a new male we'll yeah. go for. But it's twins. Yeah, so. and so we'll create a female as well. Okay, so paternal twins. Yeah, um, what we're going to call them. Um, we don't really need to name them yet. No, okay. But that means but they've got... You do need to mark that they are waters. Axe, uh, plus one. And uh, we're going to go with spear just so we can Yeah, it. let's just do one of each. Spear, uh, plus one. Yeah. And they're born with plus one strength. And yeah. uh, that means this one is stone. And the other is water. And that one is water. Yeah. So that family innovation is helping us shortcut through weapon proficiencies. Yeah. Uh, now, if we had the uh, people who were really well into their proficiencies, this would be amazing because you would instantly have the new survivor with a, a specialization. Good, okay. Right. Who else do we want to use for this? We've got someone with clubs and clubs. We can yeah. innovate clubs. Uh, innovate. Well, Rambo just, these two have clubs. Everyone's got, cl everyone's learning to use yeah. clubs at this moment. Um, yeah. We are barbarians. Um, do we have anyone who's swords? No, unfortunately not. Maybe we need to use Adam and Lilith again because yeah, okay. we need to innovate. We need to spread that weapon proficiency yeah. around. So that'll be two. Yeah, okay. Can we just well, keep using the matchmaker or is it once per settlement phase? Um, ben one endeavor trigger intimacy story event. All, All right. right. Uh, we roll again. Yep. A six is okay. good. Oh, I don't know why I closed that book. I knew we were going to be doing this again. Uh, six is fine. Um, yeah. There's nothing bad that's going to happen with that. Six is plus one uh, person. So again, um, Axes or spears? Axes. Axes, okay. So we're going to add another female. Yeah. Uh, we'll call stone. stone plus one axe. Yep. And we have one left. <sighs> we have one left. So that's given us plus three. So we're back up to a population of 11 so yep. far. Do I do it once more? Have we got anything else we can spend endeavors uh, on? Unless we go look, looking for scrap. <sighs> um, uh, what? Oh, here. Well, we could smelt that scrap and have it already done, or we could go looking for more scrap. Let's go look for more scrap. All We're right. going to need uh, it. Let's so pick we... someone with survival. <laughs> okay, let's choose Sam. Okay, so Sam. And for a 10. Oh, whoa, hey! That's fantastic, because that is a uh, long walk. Gain one courage. Okay. Do not gain a lantern, though. Okay, but that That's means it mountain. triggers awesome. his courage. Yeah. Okay, so. In the settlement phase. So, courage means he becomes a matchmaker. Nice. It's always good to have a spare. Roll a d10. Okay. A three. three. Uh, you may re-roll one endeavor result this summer, but we've used them all now. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. We've got a matchmaker, which we really need in, a, in order to... Well, having two, because if we lose one, it's nice yeah. to have that back up there. So, and we're not going to spend our resources on anything, because no. we want to bank saving, them. Saving those. Uh, all that remains is that we're going to gear up. Yep, and we have to have a debate off camera as to whether we're fighting a phoenix or the lonely beast. 
Beast of Sorrow. Beast of Sorrow, yeah. I, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, okay, it's another lion. But it's so different a fight. It's a, it's a tasty, weak, yeah. weak, high reward monster. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, well, everybody get those comments in below. We'll move on. We'll see you in the next one.